hi guys welcome back to my channel so today's recipe I'm gonna show you how to make some juicy tender Haitian meatballs let's go and get to the recipe and I also sided with some rice and beans and of course some avocado and yes I did make sauce so I'm gonna show you how you can make sauce without meat but we're gonna put the meatballs in the sauce too so let's just go ahead and get to the recipe be sure to check the description box for all the ingredients and their measurements okay so let's go and get started first we're gonna go and prepare our meat so i have here a pound and a half of ground beak i added two tablespoons of a piece be sure to check the link in my description box for my recipe i am adding two tablespoons of mayo that will keep it tender and make sure all the seasonings stick to the meat yes so i'm adding my shallots red bell pepper a little bit of scotch bonnet pepper fresh parsley and fresh thyme make sure they're all finely chopped be sure to check the description box for the ingredients yes so now let's go ahead and season i am seasoning it with half a teaspoon of salt two teaspoons of nor chicken bouillon of course a teaspoon of fresh oregano this is not the most authentic Haitian meatballs but trust me it's fucking delicious it's delicious so it doesn't really matter okay a teaspoon of sazon a tablespoon of lemon juice we're gonna need two whole eggs for that and of course here in that bowl you're probably wondering is two slices of bread soaking in milk using fat-free milk Okay, a, teaspoon, a tablespoon of mustard, that's very important, okay, don't judge. So go ahead and now, add your eggs. And then I soak the bread, I remove the edges and then soak the bread in the oil for like a few minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the bread from the oil. And then put it there. And then now we're gonna go ahead and mix this beautiful mixture. This is, like I said before, it's not the most authentic. So, yes, but trust me, it's bomb. At the restaurants, those meatballs at the restaurants are like, oh my god, they're dry. I don't like them and they don't taste that good. So yes, follow this recipe for the best meatball, okay? Meatballs. I love meatballs. Okay, so after you do that, set it aside for a few minutes. And then we're going to go ahead. You don't even have to do that because it's ground beef, honestly. You don't have to set it aside. But feel free to set it aside for 30 minutes if you have time. And if you don't, that's totally fine. It's ground beef. And like I said, we added mayo and um, the egg. That is good enough. Anyway, so go ahead and form your little balls, or big balls, however you like them. <laughs> if you ask me, honestly, I mean, I don't like my, my balls too small. I like them to be like, you know, medium-sized balls. So, yes. I mean, some people like big balls. I don't. I just, I don't know, it's just too big. I don't want to put the whole thing. I want a ball that can fit in my mouth. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> All right, so go ahead. After you make your balls, um, we're going to shallow fry this. We're not deep frying, okay? And that's where I think a lot of restaurants make mistakes. They deep fry and it's not good. So go ahead and add about two cups or three cups of oil in your pan. And once that hot, put your balls in there. Yes, your balls. Yummy balls. <laughs> <laughs> I love those. Anyways, um, yes, go ahead and do that. And we're going to fry them for about 5 to 7 minutes depending on the size of the balls. Okay? So go ahead and do that. You see that? Lightly coat them with the flour. Just very lightly. Lightly. You need, you need the flour. Okay? You need to coat it with flour. You have to. Because that will keep it together. And you also get that little crunch on the outside. And after about two minutes on the side, switch it over to the three minutes and fry it on the other side. See, it's not submerged under the oil like, you know, and it's just shallow fry. Make sure you're frying it on medium high heat, not too high. You want to make sure the temperature is not too hot and you want to make sure you, you're not defrying it because that's really what, that's that's really important actually because otherwise you're going to end up with dry balls. I don't like, I like my balls juicy. I'm sorry. They got a bit tender and juicy. That's how I like my balls, <laughs> my meat balls. What the fuck is calling me? What 
anyways before someone disturbed me so after you fried your balls they're ready you're gonna go ahead and remove them and place them on a paper towel so that paper towel could soak some of the oil off a little bit yes and then fry the next the second batch and then that's it so now we're gonna make the sauce okay I'm gonna make the rich bitch sauce Oh, look at that ball anyways for this um rich bitch sauce we're gonna need some olive oil i'm not telling the measurements for that I just add oil honey yes add it listen add it that's how we cook here and then some tomato paste two to three tablespoons of tomato paste if you want it to be like dark red go ahead add a little bit add three tablespoons so go ahead make sure your heat is on medium low okay medium low because we don't want a mess it's gonna be messy so we're gonna fry the tomato paste for a little bit with some ippies a tablespoon of ippies so the goal of this is to make sure the tomato paste is dissolved properly because we don't want little chunks of tomato paste no we don't and we're gonna add water little by little little by little like two tablespoons oops that like that Da, 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 da. and then you mix that yep like that and you keep mixing it keep stirring it make sure like I said your heat is on medium low heat not too low not too high because you don't want a mess yes and once you see you see that you see all the tomato is all dissolved now go ahead and add the remaining of the water which is two tablespoons of water so after you've added the water we're gonna go ahead and season it with some nori chicken bouillon Two teaspoon of that, a teaspoon of all-purpose chicken seasoning, a teaspoon of Goya, some freshly ground black pepper, scotch bonnet pepper with some cloves. Yes, I mean I I know you see that I put a scotch bonnet pepper in all my dish, but listen, these peppers I don't know. I guess they were grown here because they were not spicy at all. Mm -mm, not at all. Stupid. Yep. And then go ahead. Cover it, let it come to a boil. Oh, yes, a little bit of orange juice, which I almost forgot to add to my list. Anyway, yes, go ahead. Let it come to a boil, add your fresh thyme and parsley. So the sauce has boiled for five minutes, and now we're gonna go ahead and add our balls. I made a few balls really big just for the purpose of the sauce. Normally, I would I don't make my balls that big, but for the for that reason, they're big, they're huge, and it's okay. It's okay. We can manage sometimes with big balls. Anyways, <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, I need to fucking stop. Anyway, so I added a tablespoon of butter. I'm using Lily butter. If you know, you know. I added some my bell pepper, my shallots. Listen, if you made it this far, you need to subscribe. Like, come on, just do that. Let's just subscribe. Okay, subscribe. Thank you. So after you added your balls, you're going to let it simmer for three to four minutes. And that's it. Okay, this is the side, the one that I didn't add. Oh my, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. No. <gasps> oh my God. Lord. Lord. Yes. Mmm oh this is it simmering after five minutes look at this beautiful listen let me tell you, this dish was like busting you guys i don't know i'm not sh i don't know i can't even stress this enough it was busting it was just good like it was good like good 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 look a closer look look at this wow this is the sauce you can eat that with rice with plantain however you want to eat it i started it with rice because i love rice i'm haitian that's what we do that's all we care about rice yes
So let's go ahead and make the rice. So in your hot caldero, add some vegetable oil and a piece, three tablespoons of a piece. We're gonna let the a piece get a little toasty, make it a little brown on medium high heat. You see that brown? Ooh, that that's, that makes a difference, you guys, okay? It really makes a difference in your dishes when you let that a piece get toasty like that. And then go ahead and add your piece. By the way, I forgot to mention, I am using dried beans that I cooked for 45 minutes. You can use the frozen one or you can use the dried one. It's up to you. Yes. Uh, yes, I forgot to mention that. So go ahead and season it with some Noir Chicken Bouillon. Some Sazon. The Sazon is going to give it a really nice color. Oh my god, yes. Some Goya Adobo. Yes, yes. For this dish, I am using creamed coconut, but if you want to use coconut milk, that's fine. I prefer creamed coconut because it's the flavor is more intense. The flavor is intense okay I feel like the coconut milk is good unless you're using really fresh coconut milk you know you grated yourself you blended yourself the coconut then the can stuff is just mm, yeah, nah, nah. anyways what I added there was the water that was left over from cooking the beans and I added my two cups of water I'm gonna add the parsley red bell pepper and thyme and let it come to a boil So after your water is boiled, go ahead, give it a quick stir. Go ahead and wash the rice. Rinse the rice, I should say. I'm sorry. Don't put bleach in there. Okay. Rinse your rice and then go ahead and transfer the rice into the boiling water, the pan. Yes. I am using basmati rice. Yes, I am. I love basmati rice more, actually. When it comes to rice and beans, I prefer basmati. So after you've added your rice to the water, go ahead and lower your heat to medium low and let the water dry up. Let the let it reduce. This is the secret to having really good Haitian rice. Using a lot less water and cooking it on a little bit lower heat. Add some butter, you see? And then go ahead and let it steam. After you do that, the water is dried up. Go ahead cover it up and let it steam for the next 10 15 minutes just wow it looks good y'all it looks good when i took i don't know guys i i don't know how many times to say this but this dish was good it was really good so after your rice has steamed for 10 to 15 minutes um did you subscribe i bet you didn't okay this was a reminder go ahead and do it now thank you damn i sound aggressive Oh, maybe I'm just being assertive. I don't know. Anyways, yes, this is the this is the final product, guys. This is the final product. Oh my god, I can't even speak. Anyways, yes, I hope you guys give this recipe a try. This dish was delicious. Like, you need to try. You just have to. This is one of the dish you have to make because it's so good. Like, oh, and then the next day, oh my god, the next day it was even bomber. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even better <laughs> anyways thank you guys for watching i'll see you soon bye